Lord or a member of the elite society or whatever, you would think that I would be, that they would come at me. And I, I think they did. We want you to join us and we're doing this. There's a lot of stuff I know that I want to tell people. It's a lot of things that I want to teach, but I'm afraid. I'm going to be honest mm -hmm. with you. I'm scared because I, I got four grandchildren. He's afraid that the industry gonna kill him, just like Ye said, they wanna control us. The media just wants to control everybody's voice. And I got I got children that are in this world. I got people I care about. And they, I got people that I care about that, that, that don't necessarily believe what I believe. Yeah. And, I, and I'm not, I have no fear of death. And I think that those that would oppose my my beliefs they they've probably done enough if so if if somebody's after me or if somebody's watching me then they know enough about me to know that i have no fear of death so killing me don't mean shit. it just it just confirms that what i said was true and he actually died shortly later just like ye predicted what i had claimed they were going to do this started to be done you saw they took down the interviews but I do have a fear of them hurting my family. So I'm glad about certain things. I don't talk about everything I know because I don't I don't want my I don't want nobody in my family to be hurt. You know what I'm saying? I don't want nothing to happen to my people. And I, you know, if I owe them anything, I owe that to them. I owe them the I owe them the, the, the you know, the, I owe them the, their, their lives to be able to live their life and not have not be uh, subjected to to any type of harm because of something I did or said. It's already happened once. You know, my, my oldest son did some time in prison and mm -hmm. he shouldn't have. It was his first offense. That's never happened. But I will tell you, I've had motherfuckers come at me on some weirdo shit, like on some gay shit. I've had my come at me on some, oh, you should do this type shit. And I was like, wow, what? Man, what the fuck? Why the fuck did I do that? <laughs> wow. You know, since this, I, I, I view that as being um, inhuman. I view that as, I, I would never do that. The evil industry, like Ye says. How treacherous the music industry is. And then, right when the, um, there was some things that I was trying to do that I felt were important things that I that I felt would help other people. Shit started happening to me with the jail. Was some bullshit. Got convicted. Well not necessarily convicted but because I, I didn't do no time, no real time, but a little shit started happening. You know? And I never I didn't even address this shit really because Doing what they doing what they did to my son, it made me it made me kind of shut the fuck up. I stopped talking about what I was talking about at that time. Just like Ye says, you're just a puppet with a voice. You could be the biggest star in the world and you really don't have a real position or really say so, you're just being used for your voice. When I back off, shit stopped happening. So I'm more inclined to believe that maybe, maybe I was right. You know, I mean, you, like I said, I can't, I can't say if it's true or not. But uh, like I said, those things stopped happening to me. That kind of shit stopped happening to me. I stopped getting them weird messages. I stopped, I'm getting them weird emails. You know, I stopped having that feeling of being watched. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I mean, it's what it is, what it is. But at the same time, you, you. You being the celebrity that you are and, and you being the, having the platform that you do and your work.